Hey YouTubers, Linda here. Um, I wanted to share with y'all, I have been praying and asking the Lord to give me um, a word about 2011. Because um, I'm always curious about what the next year is going to bring, but you know, there's so much um, weird stuff in the news and um, you and the economy being all crazy and everything. I, I just think that a lot of people uh, are probably curious about you know, what God's going to be doing in 2011. So I want to share with you what I believe that He has shown me. Um, God is going to be doing a new thing in the lives of His people in 2011, and He's going to be doing it a new way. Um, and the level of blessing that, uh, that you receive from God in 2011 is going to be directly proportionate to how much of you He has. How much of you you have laid down for him and for his kingdom? Um, he spoke this. He said, uh, because I said, Lord, give me a word for your people. He said, an abundance of blessing awaits you, my children, in this new year. You will, uh, you will see a great contrast with the lack of previous years. I have promised you much, and you say to me, where is it, Lord? Where yet is the fulfillment of all thy promises in my life? Some of you even wonder if you truly heard from me so long has the fulfillment been in coming. And, you know, some of us here on YouTube have talked about that. Um, you know, <laughs> we just kind of feel like the last couple of years our, our uh, you know, our promises are running one way and our blessings are running the other way and we can't figure out what happened or if we did something wrong. And God's saying, you know, I'm about to bring that to pass. So that's very good news. And he said, uh, I say to you, arise, my people, and take your place. And something I continually am seeing in the Spirit is a lion, a great, powerful lion. And I believe that God's message in that is, I want you to rise up and be bold like a lion. Um, he said, arise, my great warriors, whom I have trained in dark times and hard places. Arise and take your place in the battlefield and fight for my glory. Um, Fight, for, fight what you know is unrighteous. First in yourself. So he wants us to first fight the battle against evil in ourselves. Um, you don't have any business fighting evil anyplace else until you've conquered and, and taken dominion over the evil that's operating through you in your own life. Uh, first in yourselves, then in your houses. So the second thing we want to do is we want to fight uh, the evil and the unrighteousness in our households. Um, we want to intercede, do spiritual warfare, and fight against that. And then your churches and your schools. Fight with integrity, for I will have a holy people. And I am coming this year to burn out all that is not of me in your lives. Where there is corruption among you, I will expose it. I will leave no darkness unexposed. So repent now of your sins before me. And what he's saying is, you know, God's going to have a spotless bride. And what he's saying is, I'm, I'm fixing to come get the spots. You don't want to be one of the spots. He said, Wicked shepherds will I topple from the great pedestal upon which they have exalted themselves, and I shall replace them with the humble, those who have continually humbled themselves before me in prayer, in travail, and in intercession. And when he spoke this to me, I saw in the Spirit, I saw Jesus toppling the money changers tables in the temple. Um, and I saw it real you know, real vividly. Um, this is what God is going to do this year. He's going to come in and basically he's going to be cleaning house and we are going to see it. Uh, hopefully you've got your own house clean and he's not going to be doing it at your house. <clears throat> he's going to drive what is crooked out of the temple and the temples being us. Um, for those who call yourselves by not my name and continue to live in lives of sin, I say this, prepare yourselves. Prepare to face my judgment in your lives, for you shall indeed reap the fruit of what you do if you refuse to repent. Some of you will visit hell this year. And you know, if, if there are going to be spiritual encounters, you guys. Uh, I don't think hell is going to be the only visits. I think some people are also going to visit heaven. But what he said in this word was, some of you will visit hell this year. And some of you, your lives will feel like that because of your lack of repentance. No longer shall I tolerate sin amongst my people, for I will have a holy bride. <clears throat> I will be God in your lives if you are to call me your God. 
Do not speak vain and useless words with no purpose. The time is quickly approaching when all must choose, me or the ways of the world. Even now battle lines are being drawn and peoples divided. Will you choose me? Will you choose my ways when the choice comes with a high cost? Will you choose to serve me under threat of death, loss of homes or family? Am I truly your God? <clears throat> or am I your God when you find it convenient for you? Uh, and he went on to say that great would be the rewards of those that are unafraid to sacrifice and un unafraid of loss and those who truly desire to live for him are now going to see the greatest reflection of his glory of all time. He said, they shall walk in a time of miracles and creative miracles and an outpouring of his spirit such as never been witnessed before on the earth. The other thing that the Lord has given me for 2011 is you're going to hear of things that are coming. You're going to hear of calamity and, you know, rumors of things that are about to happen. He does not want us to be afraid. Um, he said that if we become afraid, that dishonors him. If we get into fear, he does not want us to be fearful or afraid. He wants us to just rely on him and drop close to him. Um, I feel in my spirit very strongly a lot of change coming. Uh, it's not all going to be good change. We're not going to like all of it. But all that matters is that we cling to him and we continue to walk in his ways and he'll work out the details. Um, he's going to provide for his people and he's going to protect his people. Um, if you're truly his people. And that's the question that we all have to ask and be sure we can answer that with yes. We are truly his and truly walking with him. <clears throat> Pray for those that you love that are unsafe while there's still time. Nobody knows for sure what's coming. Nobody knows for sure how soon it's coming. Um, what the Lord's doing right now is He's cleaning house. You know, and He's if He's if His judgment is going to fall on people who are living in sin and refusing to repent, that's probably not going to be very pretty for to watch. If it happens to people that you love, it's not going to be very pretty to see. Um, and people need our prayers, and we need to also pray that the Lord would show us any sin in our own hearts. So that we're not among those that judgment falls on. Um, because it can happen to anybody. But I just wanted to share this word with you. Um, the good news is, if you're walking closely with God, and if you are trying to do everything that you can His way, and walk in His ways and stay in His word, um, you're going to see beautiful, incredible miracles. And just amazing things that God's going to do. And he is going to pour out his blessings on your life like never before. And that's going to start in 2011. So, get ready. Uh, hopefully you're getting ready for the good and not for the bad. But um, it's a time to check our hearts here at the end of the year. Make sure that you know we're right. Make sure that we're doing things right and we're where we need to be with God. So, God bless you. I hope this word uh, helps you and encourages you. Everybody have a great year.